Hello Internet, welcome back to Circadian Dice. In the last episode, we took the Elementalist into the sunken ghost ship, and my goodness, did we struggle to make it through that one. Didn't really unlock anything interesting or new. We did unlock a new relic, but it seems pretty terrible. And yeah, that's where we're going to jump back into it. Hello, everyone. I think uh, in this episode, I would like to do the ghost ship again, but I would like to do the Barbarian. And for two reasons. One, we've only played one round as the Barbarian. And two, because we saw a lot of weak single hit point enemies, and I think the Barbarian is really going to excel with their splash attack on dealing with that. So, yeah. Give me the adventuring kit. Uh, I think we will just take... I think we'll take the chest generator thing. And I think we'll take... I don't know. Give me the bottomless pouch. We're just not getting a lot of gold lately. Seems like. I mean, obviously that is completely random and based on different playthroughs. But why not? Why not? Okay. Fear, fear, fear. We So we saw this in the last episode. They give fear when they escape. Fang attack... Basic attack, I don't think that's worthwhile. I think we reroll till we get a splash or multiple attacks. Great, kill all three. Oh, I would love to open the lore chest, but we just can't do it. So we'll just take the gold from the regular chest. Did not really open up any new opportunities for us here. We could convert one more attack into a splash attack, which I do think would be pretty beneficial. But I don't think I, I want that. I think we'd rather save the gold for something better. All right. And score streak is what we'll take here. Okay. So we can dispel your barrier. It's not going to do anything to you, but it will kill the two rats. So I think that that is the correct choice. Do we need the red gems? Kind of deal with those two easily. And hopefully we can take you down here quickly as well. So the problem with this guy with barrier is that we at most are going to be able to hit him twice in one turn, so we're only going to be able to deal one damage to him most of the time. Feel No Pain heals us. Bloodlust only gives us benefit if they're damaged. I think we reroll. Maybe we can get the double attack. We, I mean, we would obviously like to see the splash attack here, but I think this is okay. Yeah, last turn. And so we can kill this enemy, but that was a, a bit tight. We need double and triple attacks. Why don't we wait till next wave when we get that extra gold from our pouch and then we'll look at buying something new. Score streak, one gold. Yeah, give me the streak. We leveled up. Berserk attack, uh, increase your attack multiplier by the number of red gems you have, but it costs two white gems. <sighs> we only have one white gem, but obviously this is very powerful because we can frequently have a lot of red gems. Or we can get Rage Heal, gain 2 health, reroll, and gain 2 health for each attack symbol rolled. Having some HP regen does seem like we might need that. And it's cheaper, so I think we will take this here. No, because we already have a heal that maxes our HP. Give me the other one. I don't know if we'll use it, but it'll exist, which is valuable to us. Let's see what we can do in the shop. One double attack, but a shield is not really worth it. Ah. <sighs> I mean, double attack with life leech and a splash attack does seem really good. Why don't we replace our two basic attacks? Getting some pierce would be really nice too because it circumvents their barrier. But let's re-roll here. Oh, that's terrible roll. That's slightly better. So again, we can deal one damage to you, but we kill both of the rats, which is pretty nice. Taking some some damage here. I'm not really concerned about our health so much. Can I attack a blank space between them? No, I can't. Okay. Um, well, we can kill you, but the other guy's going to be unscathed. Yeah. And that lifesteal is just not really going to do it for us because it's going to be such a small amount of damage on a guy like that. <sighs> We're doing okay. I mean... I really am tempted to take the gold, but I really want more stars so we can unlock some stuff. If we take the gold, we can get stun and a double attack, or... No, we can already afford this. I'm going to take the pierce attacks. So, let's just roll with this. Man, two gold would be so nice. But you're going to petrify me? I can't do it. I can't do it. I have to reroll. Okay, one damage to you. 
Actually, I can kill all three of you if I use my ability. But then I lose my white gems, so I can't heal. <sighs> but it'll level me up, probably, and give me that next dice. Let's do it. Leveled up. Unfortunately, we can't open any of the chests. Did give us that dice, though, so we can now put these piercing attacks on our new die. Would have loved to have opened any of the... We're getting so many chests with that relic, but we just don't have the ability to open them. Again, gold would be nice, but I think I take the score. Okay. So we can kill three of you outright, get two gold, and insulate ourselves from damage. Okay, now <laughs> we actually have an opportunity to open up some of these chests. Oh, but it's the final turn. Of course it is. Well, I can do this. I can kill everything. So, okay. We gained the ability to Berserk, and we gained a charge for Feel No Pain. What is Berserk? Reroll, then deal damage to each enemy, and gain health equal to the number of attack symbols. So that's pretty good to deal damage to every enemy based on uh, how many attack symbols we roll. It's pretty great, actually. Uh, it's a lot of gems that we don't have at the moment, but that does seem good. We could get a wild gem. So here we see what we were talking about. This border means it would be added to the die face instead of replacing it. But we would still have to replace one, and blue-white just is not... I don't think it's worth it. Man, we only have one of each gem type. We really probably should get an extra, like a wild gem going. <sighs> We're on wave five, so we do have time to recoup our gold. I think red is more valuable than blue, but unfortunately we'd have to pick one or the other. I think we just move on, just move on. We'll check as they come into the shop what we want to do. Okay, so we can't kill both Banshees, so we're going to get petrified. So I think we just kill... You only deal one damage, but you prevent HP gain. I think we just kill one of you and kill the rat. So that's a little bit of damage we've protected ourselves from. I don't know. I'm not sure if that was the right call or not. I really, really can't let you keep petrifying me. We need to be able to kill her this turn if possible, which we just cannot do. Okay. I mean, at least we get... Oh, we can't get HP. I was going to say we get HP from it, but we don't. I think we take the triple attack here and the uh, trap. Gives us a triple attack. We do lose a splash attack, but I'm not really worried about that. Another face. Of course, it petrified the triple attack. Why wouldn't it? Give me the gold and the gem, kill the petrifier, and we'll take you out next... Oh, we're out of turns. Great. So we screwed that up too. I really gotta pay more attention to our turn timer. That's not something I've been looking at very closely. Remove a debuff. Yeah, because I think there's a mini boss here, right? There is. Petrifies two faces. Okay. So again, can't kill you. Yes, I can. So, break the barriers. Oh, but it didn't deal damage, so I can't do the multiplier. Fair enough, fair enough. That's my bad for not for not reading that. Okay. Barrier 1 is tough, uh, and we're taking a lot of damage here. So... <laughs> if I damage 1... Man, without a white gem... I can't do much ability-wise. I can't kill you. We're going to take... Okay, we have 6 HP. We're going to take 7 damage. So we have to knock 2 HP, off, two damage off the board this turn or we die. We heal for 2. We can kill you. Takes 2 damage off the board. Oh, this is tough. I think we might be losing here. I think I need a splash attack. This is not a bad roll, though. Keep this. Hit him. Hit him. We're very low on HP. I don't think we're going to win this one. I mean, the triple is nice, but it's not It's not going to do it for me. I'm going to die this turn. We have to reroll. Okay. So if we hit him... Okay. If we hit him, we deal damage, we can bloodlust twice, 
which will make this a six damage item and it will restore HP for us. So hit him to knock off the barrier, hit him to drop his HP, bloodlust, kill him and gain four HP. So we're keeping ourselves sustained, which is the important part here. And I think we keep this. We're not going to be able to open the chest, but we are going to progress to the next level. And remember, the next enemy was a pushover compared to the mini boss. So hopefully, I really want the HP. We're going to we're going to push it and go without the HP and we'll see what happens. You deal 4 damage. So that's a little more than I thought you deal. Let's reroll. And again, we can work bloodlust once we damage it. So we just won. So we'll hit him. We'll bloodlust, I don't know. I was going to say like three times. But if we had done that backwards, we actually could have broken both chests with the sweep attack. And we could have come away with a lot more points based on the stuff we, we would have gotten from it. But we did kill the enemy. So again, bit of a misplay. Still, still learning to be not terrible. Did we get three stars? Four stars. Okay, obviously a much better performance than when we were the elementalist. We've unlocked the Necromancer. I do really like the Necromancer class, so we will definitely be checking that out in the next episode. We've unlocked the Reaping Attack. Basically, when we kill an enemy with the exact amount of damage using a Reaper Scythe or whatever this is supposed to be, they will be temporarily captured as though they were pets, like we captured them uh, through our trap uh, faces that we normally have. We've also unlocked the cursing attacks, that is these purple, um, whenever an attack is colored purple, that's what that means. It won't always be a sword, it can be the other types of attacks as well. Die faces can now have cursing attacks, cursed monsters take damage every turn. So it's basically a debuff that over time will deal damage to them every turn based on how cursed they are. We've unlocked all necromancer class abilities, and we've unlocked the ancient tomb. I will say... I've been playing this game in my free time. The second page is absurdly difficult. Like uh, the, the first couple scenarios that we've played are super, super easy, very easy to win almost every single run. Then you kind of get like here and here, it's kind of like you lose pretty frequently. And then when you get to the last like three, some of them seem just straight up impossible. So I, I don't know, we're gonna hit a wall here at some point, but for now we're doing okay. We have nine stars on the Barbarian. How many do I need to unlock your relic? Ten, of course. Okay. So we were, we're one star short. I'm glad we took points that run, though, instead of going for the healing and, and whatnot, because we, we really... We need stars to unlock things. But anyway, I think that's it. Everybody, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more Circadian Dice in the near future. I'll see you next time.